great fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my video uploads. Uh, this one is uh, going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit different than uh, some stuff I've, I've tried before. I'm titling this uh, Johnny Hendrix and his magic beard. Um, you'll see in this picture uh, I'm doing uh, Big Rig, Johnny Hendrix from the UFC. He is uh, going to be challenging GSP. For those of you not down with the MMA scene, that's Georges uh, St. Pierre. He is the current 170 pound or welterweight UFC champion. Uh, they're squaring off this November 16th at UFC 167. It's going to be a title uh, fight, a five round uh, war, or depends on how uh, the outcome. Either way, Big Rig, uh, Johnny Hendricks, is, uh, is a legitimate challenge, and uh, it's going to be quite a fight. Uh, being Canadian, of course, I'm hoping for GSP to, to win, but I think uh, he's going to run into some trouble with uh, Big Rig. Johnny Hendricks has uh, knockout power in both hands. I mean, especially with that left, he really seems to uh, be able to place that touch people the, in a way that uh, like a lot of announcers say this, that you can't teach, and it is true. Some people naturally can punch. Others can't, and uh, Big Rig is one of those. Um, like I say, he's a four-time NCAA All-American at Oklahoma State University. Um, he was uh, ended up winning their championship in the 165-pound class in 2005, 2006, as well as uh, finished second in 2007. So this guy is legitimate. Like I said, three-time Big 12 Conference champ, legitimate grappling, wrestling, sensation, superstar, whatever you want to get at. GSP, we all know he is uh, an MMA wrestler, uh, probably one of the best MMA wrestlers going right now. Um, he uses that wrestling, and that when I say MMA wrestling, it's, it's a little bit different than amateur wrestling. In amateur wrestling, while you're grappling, you never have to worry that the guy's going to all of a sudden decide to punch you in the face, break your nose, or you know, drive a knee into your sternum and crack you up so uh, it, 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 it's more specialized so when you're grappling in an MMA fight you, you've got to be prepared so the stance is different the grappling is different the end result is different that being said Johnny Hendricks having the ability to knock your head into uh, like the second or third row that's really gonna uh, put a lot of emphasis on GSP keeping the range uh, both of them around the same size I think GSP is around 5'10 uh, Johnny is about 5'9", so there's about an inch, and I do believe GSP has a better reach, or a longer reach. Again, though, like uh, Hendricks, just the ability to knock people out is uh, is incredible. So my personal prediction is I, I think GSP is going to he's gonna win a decision, a five-round decision. Johnny's going to be there. He's going to try to be patient. No doubt he's going to try to be patient um, so he doesn't gas himself out. But ultimately, GSP is going to make him miss, and he's going to make him miss a lot. And I think that will, uh, in the end, uh, uh, sort of cause uh, Hendricks a lot of problems in his cardio and his conditioning. When you punch and miss, it, it builds up, and uh, that's a five-round fight. And if you're even off by a little bit, GSP will take advantage of that. Now, a little bit about the drawing. This is my, uh, it's in an ink style, and as I said, it's uh, Johnny Hendricks' magic beard. So, basically... Uh, Pay attention, uh, I've drawn him without a beard, which was very hard to find an image. I actually had to sort of use other images and guess kind of where I was going to put the, the chin line. I even used some impression lines because it was really that hard to, to guess uh, where I was going to put the, the chin and line everything up. Once it was all done, I inked it all up, and then I do a little bit of, uh, not really time lapse, but it's more like stop motion animation kind of to give you Johnny Hendricks's uh, magic beer. He says he shaves it off after each fight, which his wife loves, and then he lets it grow back out to uh, the big puffy thing that you'll see here. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to check out UFC 167 this uh, weekend coming up November 16th, and uh, if you like this video, uh, press the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel, and if you know Johnny, send it to him. Let him see my magic beard. Anyways, dread fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.